And this snake is just so badass. What's up guys, we're back with Royal Canadian Reptiles. Uh, this week I wanted to do a video that's a little bit different. I know that here at RCR, and it seems like the whole market has gone recessive crazy. I think that's an awesome thing. A lot of these recessive combos are super, super cool. But I wanted to take a look at my five favorite codoms. Uh, I have a couple of combos here. I'm going to show off a few things and just show you guys my five favorite codominant mutations uh, or incomplete dominant or dominant, just genes that are not recessive. So I wanted to take a look at those five right away and uh, yeah, let's get right to it. All right guys, so this is, uh, this is one of my favorite co-dominant mutations. And this is this little, uh, this little girl here, this is a phantom. Phantom is something that I sort of fell in love with, uh, very similar to Mojave, um, with a much better super form in my opinion. Um, it's just something I fell in love with. I love how dark it is and what it can add to, to a lot of these combos. And you'll see a couple of other uh, phantom combos that I'm going to pull out here. And I just really, really like how it, uh, just just what it adds. And especially really like what it does in super form. I think, uh, I think the super phantom stuff has been severely overlooked. Uh, I don't think enough people are, are even looking at that direction. Um, and I think there's some, some really neat stuff to be done there. I, I mean, no guarantees, obviously, but just a really, really cool... Really cool animal. So gene number one is going to be the phantom and I'm gonna pull out a couple other combos right now. So here we bring in the super phantom. So this is two copies of the, the phantom gene. Um, and it's just such a cool, cool pattern that you can, I, and I think there's so much to be done with this. You know, we haven't seen what blackhead will do. Who knows what puzzle will do. We've seen the super phantom clowns. I'm uh, man, it's been like seven years coming for, Super Phantom Lavenders, but uh, that's that's a whole different ball game. But uh, but yeah, the Super Phantom I think is is just a really really cool gene. I had I used to have a uh, Super Phantom Yellow Belly, and when you add Yellow Belly to this combo, this stripe is insanely bright yellow. Um, lots of lots of stuff to be done there. Ralph Davis was one of the guys that got me onto the Phantom stuff, and uh, and I have never looked back. So all of our stuff is original RDR Phantom stuff. So. Yeah. Anyways, so gene number one is going to be the phantom. Gene number two is going to be the orange dream. Now clearly this is not uh, an orange dream. I actually don't have any single gene orange dreams. This is an orange dream desert ghost uh, krypton. So he's het clown and het cryptic. But uh, orange dream, what it brings to the table. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys have seen orange dreams by now, and some of the combos that you can do with OD, they're j it's just insane. And it's one of the genes that I think works in absolutely everything. There's there's nothing that orange dream doesn't work in. It gives you these nice whites and the nice orange. It's just a just an incredible gene. And the fact that there's a super is is amazing as well. And I'll pull out a super right now. Just so you guys can get some sort of idea what you can get when you uh, when you start to combo them. Keep in mind, an orange dream is normally not this nice. Uh, a little bit more subtle than this. This is because the desert ghost is doing all the heavy lifting here. But uh, desert ghost is also amplifying the the whites in there, so they're not they're not this nice to to start with. But uh, that'd be crazy if they were. But they're not this nice to start with. But um, but orange dream is definitely definitely one of my top five favorites. So here is what you're looking at when you get into the supers. So this is a super orange dream fire. Just a beautiful, beautiful animal. Super, super clean, super bright. It just doesn't get any, doesn't really get any better than that. You know, you add Desert Ghost to this and it's going to just be like, holy smokes. Crazy. So this girl's a, this girl is a real smoke show. She's a, you know, just, just an, just an incredible animal. So that's a super orange dream. Fire. Look at those sides. Nice and clean. Really bright. So gene number two is the orange dream. We're going to move on to the GHI. GHI has got to be uh, got to be definitely one of my top favorites. Uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of GHI stuff until recently. 
and I'm really, really starting to like it. I love this blushed out spots. I love, I just love what the GHI does to, to a pattern. Um, and obviously when you start to put it with Mojave, it's just crazy. I'll pull out uh, a GHI Mojave. She's also Desert Ghost as well, so keep in mind they're normally a little darker than she is, but this is a pastel GHI, and I am just like, I'm really, really starting to dig what the GHI can do. Here we move on to a GHI Yellow Belly. So you can see it's still got that crazy blushing in it. Really golden back. This girl's heck clown, so that may be affecting the color slightly. But uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. That's a GHI Yellow Belly. This is why they call them ball pythons, as we've said before. She doesn't want to come out and show off how cool she is. But GHI Yellow Belly, sorry to get the idea. Pull out a couple more GHI animals, move on to the next one. So here's GHI Mojave Desert Ghost. I know I've showed this girl off before, but uh, I figured you could use another look at her. She's so sweet. Now GHI Mojaves are normally not this bright or have this like white bone color on their back. Normally a bit more golden and the body is much more black, but Desert Ghost is, uh, is obviously giving it that ghosty look and really, really brightening things up. So, that's, but that's just another example of what GHI can do. It's a very simple combo, not with the Desert Ghost part, but fairly simple combo for a GHI Mojave and just an absolutely outstandingly beautiful, beautiful look. She got like a little rust colored spot there, slight paradox. But look at that, how clean it is. It's just, oh man, Desert Ghost is just so badass. Anyway, this is a GHI Mojave and she's Desert Ghost. Next up is we're going a little darker. Next up is the blackhead. So here is a blackhead. This is Het Desert Ghost, but this is a blackhead. You get these super, super dark blacks. And I knew if I didn't throw a, throw a blackhead in there, uh, my homie Khalil and Will Nussman would both have killed me. So I figured just to protect my life, I would throw the blackhead stuff in here. Uh, but all jokes aside, I really do like blackhead. Those guys are going to do crazy stuff with theirs. Uh, I'm just, I'm way behind on that, but, uh, but yeah, the blackhead is just such a, such a neat gene. What it brings to the table is just this dark palette, but it also like can really, really change patterns. And one of the cool things with blackhead is when you start to, to add different layers of jeans onto there, you can really, really start to bring out some oranges, which I didn't think was going to happen, but, oh boy, here we go. I didn't think was going to happen, but, uh. But yeah, you can get some wicked looking blackhead combos. So here is a blackhead. So here we have a pastel blackhead and you can see how it blushed out the back. It kept very dark colors, but brightened the sides. Uh, I, I kind of like this combo to be honest. I can't wait to see this with DG on top of it. But, uh, but yeah, so this is just a pastel blackhead. Really like what the blackhead's doing. You get this blushing all along the back and and just a overall darker look but it's not washing out the snake which is very very important when you start to to make combos um so yeah pastel blackhead one of my favorite uh what this is one of my favorite jeans not necessarily this combo but one of my favorite jeans is the blackhead i'm gonna show you a couple more of them too so when we take the uh the pastel blackhead and we add mojave to it you get the pastel blackhead Mojave. And this snake is just so badass. Love the striping, love the blushing, love the just the overall color that this snake has. It's, it's almost got reds coming in, and uh, it's probably red gene and ringer gene as well. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into that stuff. That's all linked to blackhead somehow, or not linked, ow. Um, but anyway, this is, a, uh, this is a pastel Mojave blackhead. Really, really dig the uh, the look that the blackhead gives, and I uh, can't wait to do some more stuff with it. Just one more blackhead combo here, guys. So this is a cinnamon blackhead. See how dark it gets? See how dark? It's just a jet black head or jet brown, I guess. Um, really, really dark back, but you you don't lose all pattern, which is very, very important. See those sides? It just floats the alien heads up right up the sides. This is a cinnamon blackhead, and uh, again, one of the reasons I really like blackhead is how versatile it is. 
Okay, and number five. This may look fairly similar to the black head, but this is the Wookiee. See how it's got that nice coppery orange head, coppery orange eye stripe, lots of whites coming up the side and really, really rich browns. Uh, really, really, really like this project. Uh, there's some, been some wicked combos and I've just, from the, the very limited stuff that I've seen, I've really, really liked it. And um, yeah, I'll show you a couple of Wookiee combos so you can see sort of how they've aged. But uh, this is just a Wookiee, just a straight Wookiee female. And I can't wait to start doing some more stuff with this. And here we move on to this girl. This is the Wookiee pinstripe. Showed her off before. Look at that copper head. Super nice, super, super cool. This, this combo made me fall in love with pinstripe again. Just how rich it is. You really need to see this snake in person. It's got a lot uh, of real red undertones to it. It's a, uh, this head is, is a, is a straight copper color. And the sides are very, very coppery. They may not look that, that much on camera, but I'm telling you in person, this thing has like a burnt rust color to it. That's uh that's very, very cool. And I think the Wookiee's gonna, gonna give us some colors that we haven't seen before, especially in that like rusty kind of look. So this is the Wookiee pinstripe. Just another example of what Wookiee can do. Really excited to start diving into this project a little bit further. And here we have another uh, Wookiee combo. This is actually a combination of two of my favorite genes. This is Wookiee and Phantom. Uh, we just need to add uh, OD, GHI, and Blackhead, and uh, we've got all five. And all five of those, with the Wookiee being the exception, we're not sure on yet. I, I can't imagine it not having a super. I've seen almost all dark genes having a super. All five of those genes have a super form. And I think when I when I pick a project or pick a codom to work with, it having a super form is a, uh, is a very, very important thing. Uh, it just gives you an entirely new element, an entirely different path to take with, uh, with all these combos. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just, um, you know... Five, five Kodom jeans. I know I always recessive, 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 but uh, I like to take some time and look back at some of these, uh, these Kodoms because these are what really built the hobby to begin with. Uh, the hobby, the business, whatever it is for you. Um, it, either Regardless, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a quick five of uh, my top five favorite dominance or codominance. Um, they're obviously all incomplete dominance with the Wookiee being the exception. We're not sure yet. Um, but regardless, those are five of my favorite genes. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, do your thing, YouTube. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys soon.